We have a bladeless fan. Check online for further detail about ordering Heffa filters. They take two. I have remote controls for the fan on the bottom of the unit. It's a nice soft white. I'm on mode on, and this has oscillating features of 60, 90, and 120 degrees. It has at least 10 speed controls, 12 in different modes quiet mode and so forth. It's got a nice soft gel remote control, as you can see right here and all the features and functions on it. It runs up to 23 feet away. We could turn off the unit as it's resetting back up. Please be careful of the cord that it is stretched out 100%. And I'm going to move this in just a little closer so this way it doesn't uh, get tangled up. And it's in the off position for 60 seconds. If nothing is touched, the lights go off. Now I am going to put this on for you. Let it go to sleep, which it's doing right now. And it's off. We're going to hit the on button. It starts on fan number eight. It has a nice gentle blowing sound to it. Let me put my mic right to the side of it so you can hear it. If I go through the front, it's going to get a little muffled. I'm going to lower the speeds down, but before I do that, I'm going to rotate it. This is 90 degrees. There is the Heffa filter on one side and another Heffa filter on the other. And the blades are right here. It is a white, gray, and a bronze color. I'm going to pause it. I am going to lower the speed down. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I have here is the upper left button. It's at 88 degrees. So this would turn off after it reaches that temperature. I have here is... SL, I have here is number two, and SL would be for sleep. I am going to increase it to three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And that is nice and comfortable. Great for those hot summer times. And it's giving a nice, solid breeze to you. This is the 60 degrees oscillating. I lower down the fan so it doesn't muffle the sound. 60 degrees, and then we're gonna change it to 90 degrees. So you can see how it's turning. Ninety degrees would be on the bottom, and if you don't want to use the remote control, you want to walk on over to the unit. You go over there and you touch it, and then you have a hundred and twenty degrees in remote. And when you shut it all off, there you go. It shuts right down. I'm going to bring it up nice and close and show you the details, how to change the Heffa filters, and how to look at the front of the controls and all. Over here is where you plug in the unit. So we're going to unplug it so we change out the filters. We simply look for the tab down here. We lift it up, put to the side, simply grab the filter, clean it, change it out. Put a new one in, just like so. You don't want to go this way. You want to go one way. The tabs always face up, and they go into a slot, and they snap into place. And it's not that difficult. I'm just looking at the camera's view. I'm having a little difficulty, and the other one is right here. Same area, same principle, right there. On the front of the units, all your controls. The cable they give you is a good six plus feet. As it turns on, you can see the soft white light. We hit the on button for you, and there's the soft white light. You can see the color of the unit. And it's a 40-inch bladeless 
understand. This is not heavy. It's easy to grab. There's no handles on it. And put it in the corner. Give it some room. About 18 inches off the wall so it could circulate and grab all that air. I hope you enjoy your bladeless fan. It is a very powerful machine. Does a great job. And we're going to stick it in the corner and show you what it looks like. Two remote controls. An instruction guide. Very simple to operate. When you're not using one of the remote controls, you can stick it right on the back of the base. You can even put both remotes there. Get yourself some stickies, stick it on the wall, keep it wherever you're going to have your fan. I hope you enjoy the product if this is what you're looking for. Thank you very much for viewing.